Gilbert, obviously, we love when there's drama as Latinos. We love the drama. We love uh, – give, give, give me the tea. Give me the tea. What the hell is going on with Ryan Garcia and Oscar DeLoya? By the way, it seems like Oscar DeLoya is always trying to fight with people, and when people finally say, all right, let's get into the ring and do something about it, Oscar's like, no, I, I'm good. I think I'm going to back off here. Yeah, let me go see the surgeon to uh, update my abs my there. Six-pack. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like the latest feud that Oscar De Loya has with one of his fighters. And, you know, I never know what to believe in in the fight game because, you know, the big part is, you know, promoting. And, 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 and shout out to WWE. Everybody tries to steal the blueprint there because you got to, you know, you got to promote. And I'm like, okay, this is a way to kind of get Ryan Garcia in the headlines after a loss. You know, he's trying to promote the fight against Raleigh Romero. Uh but then we saw what happened with Canelo. So maybe DeLoya has a history of, you know, agitating his, you know, his fighters. And but I don't know why he's trying to piss off his, his biggest moneymaker. Because after Ryan Garcia, you don't really have that much left. So, uh, and then we talked about it on Combat Compass. And Compass in the Beat, by the way. Also, when, when DeLoya didn't show up to the post-fight presser after Ryan Garcia lost to Tank Davis. And he was kind of, you know, lonely out there. Uh, not even Bernard Hopkins was there. And I guess, you know... I was surprised that Ryan Garcia was was actually pretty you know annoyed about it. And apparently, he's been talking about it with reporters. And the lawyer lost, and he lost it. He pretty much just said, "Stop crying," which uh, I feel like a lot of us like to say to to the kids nowadays, uh, the Gen Zers, "Shut up." But uh, you, it'd be yeah. a, a better approach, right? Yeah. Well, one, two. I mean, you have to think about it, like. This is the first time the kid's lost. He doesn't know what this feels like. And he's sitting up there. There's nobody with him. And he's like, well, what the, you know how they say that the, that uh, when somebody stabs you in the back, it hurts more when it's because you know, it's a family member or it's somebody that's, uh, that's supposedly there with you. That's supposedly been there with you. It's going to hurt more because it's somebody that you knew. Well, that's what happened to Ryan Garcia. He had never felt a loss. And it's like what they say, once you lose, you turn around, you see who's really with you. And there was nobody there for Ryan. So I understand where he's coming from. And the thing is, like you said, Gen Z, what are they going to do? They're going to throw it out on social media and they're going to express the way they feel on social media. Whereas like you and I are more, we'll keep it in, we'll keep it bottled in. We won't say what we really feel. Why? We don't want to show, you don't want to show weaknesses to your opponent. Um, Cause I mean, everybody's your opponent, but, um, but you know what I mean? Like you don't want to like, and the thing is the kid had just barely taken his first loss and he's like, dude what the hell like nobody's around me nobody's here not even his own manager was there like it, it just uh it's just a bad look all around and yeah. I, I really what uh, yeah by the way the, remember the lawyer threw in the manager or the advisor saying hey you should take the rehydration clause which i thought was dumb all of a sudden the lawyer was the one that yeah it, right? oh well but now that it happened now it's all yeah so i didn't say i, I didn't approve of that yeah but, by the way friend the reason why my antenna went up because he's trying to promote that fight against Raleigh Romero, Ryan Garcia, which I think would be a good fight for their kind of level there. Uh, but De La Hoya took a picture of Raleigh Romero, and that also agitated Ryan Garcia, saying, hey, I'm trying to fight this dude, but you're over there uh, being friendly with my opponents. And I think he's trying to sign him, Raleigh Romero. I think last time I checked, he was, he's been made with a promotions, might be a free agent now. Uh, and when you don't really have a good deep stable, you're trying to recruit as often as De La Hoya does. But when you're losing guys, you're annoying people. I, I, I'm, sh- I'm sure Canelo somewhere is saying, hey, I told you, Ryan Garcia. I, I warned you. Uh, but that's why I don't know if it's a storyline or not. But judging this guy's track record and how uh, things have gone at Golden Boy, I don't know. But that fight, by the way, Fernando, Ryan Romero, Ryan Garcia, it'll be interesting. The promotion will be uh, Jake Paul-like. It'll be a lot of chaos. Uh, they like to talk, but they're not really – they don't back it up when it comes to the ring. I mean, and it's just sad to see what's going on because, I mean, Ryan's not a bad kid. I mean, we've had him on. He was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, he thanked us for, for talking to him. And and I think it was an early uh, I think it was an early interview. And he's like, hey, thank you guys so much for waking up and talking to me and everything. And after, like, <laughs> obviously uh, you'll laugh, but he was like, hey, God bless you guys. Thank you guys so much for, for interviewing me and and uh, and all that. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, like yeah, there's, there's two different people. Obviously, there's Ryan and then there's King – King Garcia, King Rye, whatever the hell you want to call them. There's two different personalities, and that's what it is. Like we, like you've been hearing, and we heard today from Marcellus Wiley at uh, Chargers camp. There's Skip Bayless and there's Shannon Sharp, and there's Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp of Undisputed. There's two different personalities, and uh, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia felt like he got let down, and and obviously he had to express himself. But I mean, hopefully he finds what's uh, who. 
that's the thing. The boxing sports in general is just a, such a dirty sport. And I mean, people are there with you until you take that loss. Every everybody's everybody's there until something bad happens. So hopefully uh Ryan can find somebody who's gonna be with him there uh until the end. But I, I do feel bad for the dude and and we all know um we all know that Oscar Dolly has been dirty for a while. I mean, the dude just he just uh it's the same thing. Can it happen with Canelo? Now it's happening with Ryan. It's happened with uh, with a lot of his different fighters. Trevante, is he still a free agent? Uh, well, he, he's I guess technically he is, but he does a lot of business with Al Heyman, and that's usually means you mm. you stay with PBC Premier Boxing Champions. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happens to Ryan Garcia's uh, former opponent now that with all the legal trouble there. Yeah, no, that'll be interesting. But folks, don't forget to check out everything else on Combat Compass. We have uh, some Roman Reigns uh, updates, a bloodline. We have uh, Dana White is trying to get uh, boxing and uh, MMA to fight, but this time in the MMA, uh, in the octagon. And then we got Gilbert's top 10 found, pound for pound. You aren't going to want to miss any of that stuff. So make sure you guys go check that all, all of it out on Combat Compass. <laughs>